Metadata is a set of attributes you assign to instruments to provide a detailed description of their content. For each instrument, we can assign a set of sublibrary keywords, a set of category keywords, a set of producer keywords, a rating, and a freeform text comment. Let's select one or more instruments and then switch to the metadata tab. We have sublibraries, categories, producers, rating, and a text comment. Let's add a sublibrary keyword to the instrument, London strings. Then we add a category keyword, orchestral. A producer's keyword, uh, London Metropolitan Orchestra in this case. Then we add our rating. We see the rating here, we can modify that directly. And we add a comment. As you see, once a comment is entered, you have the pen icon in, near the instrument. Let's search our library by comment. Batman and here we have our instrument. As you can see adding keywords to your existing library can be a time-consuming task. However, most probably you already have a semi-organized library where subfolders are used to sort instruments by typology, example all your pad sounds might be in the pad folder and so on. For this reason, in Pro Manager, you can automatically add the subfolder names as keywords for the selected instruments by clicking the Add from Folders button. Once the keywords have been added, you can simply delete the ones you do not like or do not need. Let's use this function with our library. We select uh, our instruments, we add the categories from folders, and here we have our keywords. and we can search categories. With Pro Manager, you can convert your XS libraries to Apple lossless and AAC compressed sample formats for use in Logic Studio 2 or MainStage. The conversion creates a new independent library with new instruments and samples and doesn't touch or modify the original one. But why would you want to compress your library? Well, for laptops, the AAC format is very interesting as it can be used to move your massive high quality studio library to an internal drive in a laptop. So with this compression, a standard laptop drive holds the equivalent of 8 terabytes of sample data. For desktops, the Apple lossless compression can be used to reduce the size of your library by more than 50% with no degradation or change in audio quality. So a single drive machine as an iMac will greatly benefit from this kind of compression. Conversion is simple. Once the library has been scanned, click the Lib Convert button, select the desired sample format, click Start and select the destination folder where to create the new library. Now let's check the result and notice the difference in user disk space. ProManager has been designed to simplify your life when dealing with library management. Here are a few tips and tricks. Let's say you want to send a few instruments to a friend. 
where you can simply drag and drop the instruments from Pro Manager and all the needed sample files will be copied to automatically. Sometimes you might want to quickly relink a few instruments only, and not the complete library. You can use the contextual menu to do that. In the same way, you can also convert the sample format for a few selected instruments. By design, Pro Manager never moves files between different locations because you might have very good reasons for keeping the files where they are. You can, however, move instruments manually by first selecting the destination location, then selecting the instruments, and then using the appropriate command from the contextual menu. In the same way, you can move the samples for the selected instruments to a different location. You can delete instruments. It's very important to add all the required locations when you set up a library, but you do not have to scan everything from scratch every time you add a new location. In this example, we create a library, add a location, scan the library, and then we notice we left out a folder with some samples. Not a problem, we use the locate and manage missing samples command, we select the folder with the needed files, and then we are asked whether we want to add that as a new location, or copy or move the files to the current location. In this case, we add this folder as a location and scan it. Now that our instrument is complete, we just have to relink it.